Good morning, boys and girls, and thank you very much for joining me for assembly today. I hope you've enjoyed your first week back at school and that you've had a great weekend. It's lovely to be able to speak with you all this morning. Now, today's assembly, as you remember, we always start with our reflection, don't we? Mirror, mirror on the wall, what stands out for us all? I wonder what stood out for you about school last week. For me, what stood out was best version of me that we had on Friday. And when the students came to tell me all about why they were the best versions of themselves, I was so impressed, amazed and proud with the language that they were using. Resilience, independence, literacy, numeracy, topic, being kind, helping others. It really did make me feel incredibly proud. Thank you very much for all the efforts that you're making to make sure you are always the best versions of yourself. And I'm really looking forward to best versions of me this Friday and all the learning that's going to take place this week. I'd just like to remind you, how are you getting on with your New Year's resolutions and goals? I hope you haven't given up focusing on doing more of something and less of something else or doing more positive actions and less negative actions. I hope we're going to keep going for those targets and those aspirations for the remainder of the academic year. And for some of you as well, making sure you've taken your kindness pledge. And I certainly know that many of you have been working hard on being kind. But in last assembly, I asked you to make the, uh, the pledge of being kind each and every day to every person, no matter big or small to love yourself and love others too, so that you can do the best that you can do. I keep looking around at break times and lunch times and in lessons to make sure that you're being kind. There are some students that have really demonstrated kindness this month, that have made a great effort in showing the value of the month of kindness. And we can see some names up here. Your certificates will be given to you before the end of the week by Mr Quinn. But congratulations to these students who have been nominated for value of the month for being kind. In Ladybird class, we've got Sophia. And in Glowworm class, we've got Ella. And in Bumblebee class, we've got Lily and Matilda in Caterpillar, Diana in Dragonfly class, and Amira in Grasshopper class. In Robin class, we've got Kayla, and Sparrow class, we've got Casey, and in Dove class, Abudi, and in Lark class, we've got Avalena, and in Hummingbird class, we've got Myra and Guadalucia in our class. A round of applause for our year one and twos for being kind. I wonder who is going to be in year three and four. Can you see your name for value of the month for kindness? Pearl class, Genevieve, Ruby class, Mia, Sophie in Topaz, Heaven in Sapphire, Amira in Diamond class, Kian in Emerald class, Dania in Dal, Naksh in Rowling, Julia in Lewis, and Blyton Layla class. Well done on being kindness value of the month. Excellent. And moving up onto the top floor now, year five and six. I wonder if you can see your name there. What a wonderful award to receive for being kind. We've got Yana in Armstrong, Charlie in Batuta, Sienna in Hillary, Lola in Mansouri, Minahil in Earhart, Maya in Eagles, Rhea in Ospreys and Sabina in Kestrel class. Well done to the students across the school on being nominated value of the month for being kind. I know that Mr Quinn is going to love giving those certificates out to you on Friday. Principal's Challenge then went to Year 6 Ospreys and they're busy practising for their surprise to you, which is going to be displayed on the 21st of March. We hope you enjoy it. And another reminder that I set the Principal's Charity Challenge, fundraising for cancer charities, and the final nominations and money needs to be in by the 4th of March. I would like to say a special well done to Year 3 and the Year 3s that joined me and the Year 3 teachers at the beach on Saturday for that beach walk fundraising for charity. Well done, Year 3, for getting involved and thank you for inviting me along. The principal's challenge then, I expect many of you are wondering what's going to be the next principal's challenge. 
Well, we are going to have one, but we're going to wait until after the 4th of March, and then I'm going to launch a new whole school principles challenge. So this isn't going to go to one class. This is another event that I would like you to get involved in. Please look out for the communication that will come to you after the 4th of March. And it's going to be a competition. I wonder which house will win. A quick question for you to start today's assembly then. You might think I'm crazy, but are you mixed fruit jam or are you mixed fruit salad? I'm going to come back to this question at the end of today's assembly, but get your thinking caps on. OK, the new value of the month. We're moving beyond kindness now, still remembering to be kind with our words and our actions and what we say and how we make others feel. But this month, we're going to concentrate on this value. I wonder if you can use your literacy skills again to unjumble the words and find out what it is. It's diversity. Diversity. And diversity, many of you might know what this means. It's about differences, being different, different identities. But there's a question I would like you to consider first of all. In what ways are we all the same? Yes, we've all got two eyes, but they're different colours. We've all got a mouth and we can all talk, we're the same. But sometimes what we say is very different and we speak different languages at home, don't we, many of us? We've all got two arms. We've all got two legs. But for some people, perhaps they might be different in that one of their arms doesn't work as well as the other or some people's legs don't work as well as our legs. There are lots of situations where we are the same. We all have a brain. We all have skin. We all have lungs to breathe. We can all talk. We can all smell. There are many similarities, ways that we're not exactly the same, but we are similar. Our hair might be long or short, but we all have hair. Our hair colour might be similar, but not exactly the same. Our eyes are eyes, but we have similar colours. Our ages in class, we're all roughly a similar age, but not exactly the same. In many ways, there are, we are different. And in what ways are we different? And in what ways do we have differences? In what ways do we have the same identity? And in what ways do we have similarity in our identities or differences in our identities? Diversity is about the celebration of how we are the same, how we have similarities, how we are different, how we have differences, and our different identities and the same identities that we have. I'd like you throughout the course of the month to explore in what ways are we the same, similar, different, and in what ways do we have same or similar identity or identities. Do you know what is special about a fingerprint? We've all got a fingerprint. That's something that we've got the same. Our fingerprints are not similar, though they might look similar. But do you know what is one of the most unique differences about our fingerprints? Our fingerprints are unique to us. Even twins who might look the same, they've got very different fingerprints. If you look at your fingerprint, you can see all the squiggly lines that might look similar the same. But each of us have a unique set of fingerprints that are given to us when we are born and they last until we die. And in that way, we are very, very unique. We have something called visible identities and invisible identities. We might be the same visibly. We might be different visibly. But we also have things that you don't necessarily see that make us diverse, that make us unique, that make us who we are. Yes, every day when we're together and we see each other and hear each other and play and learn together, yes, we can see how we are visibly different. But I would like us to go one step further 
and think about those invisible identities that we don't see necessarily every day. And we might think of those like a tree. We can see the beautiful leaves and the bark and the flowers, but there are things about the tree that we don't see that are deep underground that help that tree be exactly how we see it. We might see it as an iceberg. An iceberg, yes, we can see, but we can't see actually how deep down and under the water an iceberg grows. There are things that we think and feel, is this image, you can see here, this image, that yes, we can see hair and eyes and a smile and what we wear, but there are also things about us in our identity that we don't see, our invisible identities, what we enjoy, maybe our religion, our faith, our beliefs. So what I want you to do this month is look beyond what you can see and get to know how we're the same and how we have similarities and how we're different, but deep down inside. Yes, we are all the same in many respects, and yes, we are all different and have differences. But the key to celebrating diversity is to understand that we all have rights and we all have responsibilities. We have the right to have our differences respected and celebrated, but then we also have the responsibility, boys and girls, of making sure that we celebrate and respect the differences of others. And there's a lovely poem that I've shared with you before about that puzzle piece. And this poem is about making sure that whilst we understand that people are the same and people are different, and there are differences and similarities that we can see, those visible differences, but also deep down inside there are those invisible differences that we can't see, that we should take time to get to know about others. We must also make sure that we respect, tolerate, understand, value, and I want to add a new word as well, which is celebrate those similarities and differences because when we are we display these values that's when we can all live in harmony and we can all live in unity and this poem sums up beautifully what we're trying to achieve at school our lives are one big puzzle we don't know how many pieces we've got there are people that fit in quite nicely and there are people who try but do not. We are constantly adding more pieces, all the memories of things we've been through. We add laughter and tears and adventure and the lessons we've learned to be true. Everyone has their own puzzle. There will be ones where you do not fit. Don't ever dare make your piece smaller just so you can live there for a bit. If you keep cutting away all your edges, one day you won't recognise what you see and you'll forget the person you once were before the world told you who you should be. Make the most of each piece in your puzzle. It will be a grand masterpiece when it's done. So you won't have to look back when it's over and realise you've left out the sun. I want to leave you at today's assembly then with three, three questions. The first question for you to consider for the remainder of today's assembly is how does mixed fruit jam and mixed fruit salad represent diversity? And are you then mixed fruit jam or are you a mixed fruit salad and why? And the third, one of the most important questions for you to answer is, will you let others be mixed fruit jam? Or is it important to let others be a mixed fruit salad? There's lots for us to think about this month as we celebrate diversity, in which ways we're the same and in which ways we are different and similar. The key thing is that we continue to show tolerance, understanding and respect. And we value and celebrate those differences in ourselves and in others. Thank you very much for listening. Have a lovely week.